the Jersey Shore tonight what was very nearly a story of devastating loss. But thanks to a wave of goodwill and an ocean's worth of determination, it's instead a story of something gained. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman tonight with the ring that found its way back to a finger. 70-year-old Jim McAllister was enjoying some time in the ocean with his son Ryan on Thursday in Ocean City when a big wave almost knocked him over. I felt the ring move and the water was clear enough that I, could, I saw it float away. His wedding ring, which he has worn since 1974, was lost in the ocean. It was a sinking feeling because my wife passed away three years ago. Her name was Ellen. We're married almost 47 years. Uh, just memories of my mom just crushed me. I remember going over there and stomping my feet, or not stomping, I was like sliding my feet around, trying, hoping that I can find this, this circle, and not finding that just made me feel broken. When you lose something really tiny, like a ring, in a space that's this large, many people might think it's gone forever. So how are you supposed to try and find it? Their first step, post about it on Facebook. A couple people said, contact John, the ring finder. Enter John Favano, known around here as the ring finder, thanks to his metal detector and his tenacity. So we go out at low tide. They'll point to where they were, and then I'll you know, start a grid area of where they think they lost it out in the water. He searched for about an hour. And then I get another signal, and it's really deep. Dig it, bring it up, you know, sift the sand out, shells are in there, and I see this big ring in there. Did a couple scoops, and all of a sudden he's shouting, I found it! And um, there it was. Elation. I was just, just, I, I, I can't even put it into words. It's a great feeling to return something to somebody. You know, makes me happy that, you know, I'm helping someone. Ellen's brother said, I can't help but believe that Ellen helped you find this. And the next time Jim goes to the beach? No rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll stay home. Reporting in Ocean City, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News.